All right, YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to the channel for our second LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga video. Today, we are looking at the gameplay overview. So we're going to get a look at tons of things, including the gameplay, some of the characters, what we can expect, and everything to do with LEGO Star Wars. Someone actually asked me on my previous video if I could look over this and give you guys my thoughts. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It's going to be a very similar style to the last video. So if you enjoyed that, hopefully you enjoy this one too. If you don't enjoy this style of video, make sure you let me know down in the comments what kind of video you'd like me to do if you'd like just regular commentary with no webcam or you know me off the screen um, and just chatting through it but yeah feedback is always welcome and if for everyone else that does enjoy it make sure you leave a like uh, and let me know down below that you enjoyed this video but with that said let's talk at the gameplay but with that said let's take a look at the gameplay and jump straight in a young dreamer becomes a jedi knight First thing, I really like the health bars. And the graphics quality looks incredible. They're the two things that I see right off the rip. Even though it's Lego, it still looks really, really good, like graphics-wise. That's good. You can choose the trilogy straight away. Jump into episode one as Qui Gon and his young Padawan Of course, we've got to play. All right, chat. Are we playing four, five, six, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, or are we playing like one through nine? What What do you think? I need to know down in the comments how we should play through this. Play through the entire saga and experience the hilarious fun only Lego games can offer. I'm so excited about how much freedom the game is going to give us as well. I think that's going to be great. Skywalker Saga lets you experience the many thrills of your favorite battles. Clone Wars era stuff's going to be so much fun. As you plunge into the action and defeat enemies both big. The health bar thing just it gets me. It's so much more depth to compare to what it used to be. It seems like such a simple UI change, but I love it. I think it's great. Oh my god, did you see the counter? That's sick. The blaster controls look really good as well. I saw a snippet of Leia earlier. That's definitely got my attention too. I wonder if there's like any chance of using like a, a sniper style weapon with any of the characters, because that would be cool. There's nothing like having a good blaster at your side. The dismemberment's really good as well. Or choose to use a weapon so if you shoot them in the leg, their leg falls off. So good. A lightsaber against the saga's most Throne room looks villains. sick. Fight like a Jedi Knight. I cannot wait Someone to fight Grievous. That's for sure. <laughs> I don't know about that one. The only weapon in a Jedi's arsenal. Remember, the Force is everywhere. Harness its power to lift objects, attack enemies. Yeah, that's similar to the old games. <laughs> Players can also take their adventures to new heights by progressively unlocking planets as you journey your way through. Naboo the looks really good. Just open the hollow projector to access the galaxy map and chart your course. Space travel pose X Wing own set of exciting encounters. Be prepared to engage in exhilarating dogfights Oh, no way. <laughs> that looks sick too. As you pilot I feel like this game is just taking bits of everything that's made Star Wars games good in the past and just throwing them all together in the Lego format. I mean, and then making it funny as well at the same time. Every episode in the saga is full of... The speeder bikes look like that's going to be a fun mission. Many with multiple routes to progress through. So you can charge in boldly or find a more stealthy approach. No, we're not going stealth. We're just sending it on everything. 100%. You can choose to either continue onwards through the main My boy Qui-Gon. Or take a detour to explore iconic and expansive planets. How good is that? It's just like it's that open world that you can literally just go and do side quests. I love that. That's going to add so much depth and, and actual playtime to the game. breathtaking Lego game yet. Go off the beaten path and take on side missions. Here we go. More on side missions. Rats, facing off against scum and villainy. Or pondering the great mysteries of the saga. Tell me, who shot first? 
I wonder what kind of rewards you would get for those side missions. The more you explore the galaxy, the greater the rewards. Uncover Kyber Bricks to unlock new features, including upgraded abilities across a range of unique... They've got ability classes. customization and class options? That's wild. That's actually so good. The depth of this game is impressing me, honestly. Unleashing shock grenades as a bounty hunter, or putting your better half to work as a protocol droid. <laughs> he just splits himself in half. Yeah, right. Raid makes your characters more powerful and ready to take on any challenge. Oh my god, just yeet him. Over 300 characters to unlock. Free play mode. Let's Isn't it over 400 now? Corner of the saga. Like 420 something confirmed, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, you can even play as Jabba. Donk. <laughs> Fan service being thrown in there. Live your favorite moments from all nine films and experience The the actual blaster aiming looks like it's going to be fun too. On April 5th. Five days away. Or well, four days by the time this video goes up. The galaxy is yours. Trust your feeling. The space combat looks really good too. It just looks like smooth. And simple. Like I hate when things overcomplicate aerial combat. Wait, you can give them mumble voices? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> Dude, no way that actually happens in the game, but... Damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing. Like I said in the last video, I haven't dived into too much LEGO Star Wars... I haven't done all that much research. I, it didn't really appeal to me until just recently as I've started to see more come out. But this is impressing me. I, I think, like I said a minute ago, the aerial combat looks incredible. The blaster combat looks great. The lightsaber combat looks like it's going to give you a variety of different options and combinations with force moves and things like that. Upgradable abilities as well adds a lot of depth. The locations, being able to choose where you start. So like, I know obviously everyone's going to be playing and streaming this right off the rip. But the thing is, everyone's stream is going to look different. So everyone's going to get a lot of support and a lot of viewership depending on what um, trilogy they start at. Because, you know, I might start on episode one, but Sammy might start on, you know, episode four. Mark might start on episode three, if it's his favorite movie, like it, it definitely adds a really good option um, for viewers of streams and things like that. Cause not everyone's stream is going to be the same. So I think that's really cool as well. Um, let me know what you want for the next Lego Star Wars video. I'm probably going to do like a five things I'm excited for in Lego Star Wars. Um, that'll probably be the next video. I'm trying to get daily uploads until we get the launch of the game. Um, and that way that'll carry us over until then. And hopefully build some hype with you guys as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you leave a thumbs up if you do, and I will see you guys tomorrow.